Hello again. This is 61BL, Summer 21 Final, Question 6, Part 2. So in this case, we're given the same heap as before, right? We're given this heap as the previous part, and we're doing one removement call on this heap, right? Essentially, I'm getting rid of this one, which is the root value. That's the minimum value in a heap, in a min heap specifically. And we're getting rid of it. After we get rid of it, we'll end up with a different heap. And we want to basically assign bounds to the values of A and B, such that one, we get the maximum number of swaps, and two, we get the minimum number of swaps, right? So in each case, we would have different bounds for A and B, such that we can maximize or minimize the number of swaps we do once we um, bubble our element down. So first, first things first, what does deletion in a heap look like? Well, one thing that happens is we get rid of the root, right? So I'm just going to remove one from here because that was the root. And in place of one, we put the last element in the heap or the last element in the, in the array version of the heap in place of the root, right? So I would put B right here. After I put B in place of one, I want to bubble B down. In the first case, I want to bubble it down as far as possible, right? I want the maximum number of swaps. So I want to bubble it down such that the min heap property is satisfied after we bubble down. So to get the maximum number of swaps, right? I want to, I want to basically bubble B down as far as possible um, because that would involve the most number of swaps, right? Um, so the longest path that I see in this tree is this path, right? So I want to basically swap B with A, then I want to swap B with five, then I want to swap B with 10, finally, right? Now, to force B to take this path, we can now enforce some constraints on how um, bounded A and B's values can be, right? So the one thing I see right now is to swap B with A, um, A must have a value of less than three because whenever I bubble an element down, I will check both of its children's values and I will swap it with the child that has the less value, right? So because I wanna swap B with A and not with three, A should have a value less than three so we can bring A to the top, A to the top and then put B in its place, right? So I'm gonna do that here. And I now I have a constraint on A, right? A should be less than three. So we'll put, we'll put that in, okay? Um, the other constraint for A comes, comes from the previous case where my heap looked like this, with some other values below A. I know that the min heap property should still be satisfied and A was below one in the previous case. So now A should still be something greater than one, right? So I'll put one as the minimum bound for A. Cool. Now, I want to swap B with nine, um, B, B with five, right? So I'll just swap it with five for now. And then C, I know that B should definitely be greater than five at this point, right? Because we want to bubble it down. And when I compare it with five, we should get some value that's greater than five, okay? Then I finally want to swap B and 10. And again, when I want to swap two values, when I want to bubble B down, 10 should be less than B. So the heap property is still satisfied, right? When I compare B and 10, the only way I can send it one level down, the only way I can swap those values is if 10 has a, less, has a lesser value than B, right? So I will swap them here. Oops. And now I kind of have a minimum value for B, right? B must be greater than 10 in order to get all the way down. So I'll put the minimum bound as 10 for B, okay? The maximum bound for B could be anything, right? B could be 11, B could be 12, B could be 14, it could be anything. So I will put infinity for B's maximum bound and we're done with this part, okay? For the next part, for the minimum number of swaps, right? I'm going to basically get the same structure as I had before. So the 10 was here. Everything basically was one level down. Okay. So we had something like this, right? Right after the one was removed. And now I want to send B as close to the 
root value as possible. So I don't want to send B as far off as possible. I want to send it like somewhere in this region. I don't want it to be too far away because that would involve uh, more swaps and I want to minimize the number of swaps right now. Cool. Okay. So in this case, well, I already know that my heap initially looked something like that, right? where I knew that B in the previous part as well, B is, should be greater than five, right? Because it is below five in the original heap. So I have some constraint on B that B should still be something greater than five, right? In order to satisfy this heap property from the previous case. All the previous cases properties should still apply because we're not necessarily changing the heap. We're only just removing the min value. So for the minimum value of B, it should definitely be less than five. It should, it should definitely be greater than five. And it, it is also greater, because it is greater than five, it is also greater than A because five is greater than A in our heap, right? So by this logic, I know that when I compare B and A, right? B would definitely want to swap with A. But if I swap A and B, it would also swap with five. And then we would end up getting a lot more swaps than we actually want. We can actually try to have only one swap and stop there, right? So the one thing I wanna do is I don't want B to swap with A because if B swaps with A, it will keep going down until the heap property is satisfied, right? So to avoid it from swapping with A, I want A to have a value that's larger than three so that B would instead swap with three, right? Because when we compare the values of B's children, B would only swap with the value that's smaller, right? So if A is something larger than three, then we would be swapping B and three, right? So the minimum value for A should be three, like something greater than three, right? Okay, and because the heat property should still be satisfied, A should still be less than five and nine, or to be, more precise, A should be less than five, right? Because we want the min heat property to still be satisfied here. So I'll put five as A's upper bound, okay? So because now I'm forcing B to swap with three, this is what my heap would look like. And now that's only one swap, right? Because this is only one swap, I want to just end my bottom, bottom down operation here, like my um, heapification operation here. I don't want to bubble B down anymore. So I would impose another constraint on B such that it does not swap with 11 or 13 while it's bubbling down. If I just make B a value less than 11, when I compare these two values, B would not swap with 11, right? So I'll just put 11 as an upper bound for B. And now B would only swap with three. We would get only one swap. And then B would come to the second level in the heap and just not swap again because it's something less than 11. So the heap property is already satisfied here. Cool. So that was part two.